Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. Today's video is going to be a continuation of my Hobonichi cousin plan with me. So earlier I shared my weekly planning with you guys. So in that video I promised that I would share how I am going to pre-plan my daily pages. So um, since we are beginning January, 2021, I thought that I would kind of share how I'm going to be using the daily pages and how I'm going to be using it for pre-planning purposes. First off, I just moved my Hobonichi Full Year Cousin into this Kiki K notebook cover. So I recently got this and I did film a haul. It was a Christmas haul and this was part of a Christmas gift set. So it came with um, this pen actually this rose gold pen with the little heart on it. And then also it came with a kind of like cylindrical leather pencil case with the same color. So um, I just really like it. And of course, I'm still going to be using this one. I absolutely love this color. Um, this is the Strawberry Biscuit. Because this is the beginning of the year, my Hobonichi is still quite thin. It will still fit in this notebook cover. I'm sure that once it begins to thicken out and get more chunky, I'm gonna have to move back into the Hobodinchi brand. Um, this just allows more chunk, if you will. It still closes, but it's definitely a tight fit already and we're only just starting the year out. So I do have the full year in here. But maybe next year I'll get the Avec, who knows, but um, for now I really like having everything in one book. Um, I do have my Delphonics pouch here, and this contains everything that I use to plan in my Hobonichi Cousin. So this is specifically only for my Hobonichi Cousin. I have my brush pens, I have um, all my fountain pens over here, and I have my kits inside, I have stickers, and I have more Tombow markers inside as well. So if you guys want to see like a full um, what's in my Delphonics pouch, then just let me know and I'll be happy to film that for you. But that will be a different video. Let's get into the planning. So I have just zoomed in slightly and I picked out the pens that I'm going to be using. Um, this is a Tombow brush pen and the color is 553. I use this quite a lot in my daily pages. Um, I have a Uniball Signo RT in the point uh, 38 and this is just a great really thin uh, ballpoint pen. I do have my fountain pen that I normally use in here and that is a Lamy Safari. Uh, right now I have a magenta ink in here and I will put the brand down below. I also have a um, lettering pen here and this is by the Kokoro brand. It's a Zig pen. And then lastly, the main pen that I'm going to be using today is this Kaveco Sport and this is in the Macchiato color and I do have it in the fine nib. So those are the pens that I'm going to be working with. Um, so if you watched my plan with me, then you have already seen how I pre-planned the week here. So I used a kit from Prince Petticoat Bandit and I just basically put the main events and the main kind of to do's as well as my social media scheduling at the bottom here. I do have um, a section here for the books that I need to read for um, my blog for review purposes and basically this is just an overview. It's not um, the kind of nitty-gritty the to-do list that goes into my dailies here at the back and that's what I'm going to be doing on camera with you today. This right here is just uh, kind of a snapshot of the week. I can see when I have things like my video schedule that's going up. I have my events here and then um, I can see like my paydays and any holidays as well. So that is just the kind of snapshot of the week. In the daily section here, this is basically where all the real to-do lists, the messy kind of planning will happen. So um, since we are in January, the Hobonichi does come with this kind of blank page here at the beginning of every month. And for me, I'm going to be using this as a goals page. So I'm going to be writing my goals on one column and my important dates on the other. And all I've done here is I've used 
um, a color coding system. So each month is going to be a different color. So for January, I have chosen this color here, which I mentioned is 553. And I just did a little swatch there and then I hand lettered. It's not really hand lettering actually, it's just my handwriting um, with this pen. This is the Kokoro Zig pen. And I just wrote that there. I do have a kind of color coding system here at the beginning. So over here on this little post-it note, I do have my daily color coding. So for the whole entire month of January, it's going to be this color. And then I do have the rest of the month kind of planned out with the different Tombow colors. And that's what I'm going to be using as kind of like my accent color for the entire month. So what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to fill out just the end of this week. So basically it's just the end of this week that I already pre-planned. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I'm also going to show you how I'm going to be using these daily pages here. So I do have some things already written. Um, this is just my schedule for the year. And then I do have a little bit of my social media that's already scheduled. Um, and then I just have some of my events, but um, this is not all of it. I'm going to be adding more as I go. So first off, let's start with my goals page at the very beginning. Now I do have a printable in my shop that is made for this page. So it's a full page sticker. So you guys can definitely use that in your Hobonichi. Um, but I am trying not to bulk up this planner because I am using the full year. So I want to dedicate this daily section to only pen. I'm not going to be using any stickers, only a little bit of washi. I do have a little bit of washi here and the only reason why this is here is because it was off of some happy mail that I got and I didn't really know where else to put it so I just kind of slapped it down there just for a little bit of decoration but um, yeah the rest of this is not going to be stickered up. I'm only going to be stickering the monthlies and mostly the weeklies. But if you are interested in purchasing any printables from my shop, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. But for now, we are going to jump straight into the goals. So I have this sectioned off already and it's all dry. The reason why it's a little bit wrinkly is because I actually have my vision board for the year. I have shown this before. This is my vision board for 2021. This is based off of my books in the Moonrise Beach series because that's what I'm focusing on this year. That's the books that I'm going to be releasing. So um, I did watercolor it so that's why this page is a little bit wrinkly but normally it would just be um, really smooth. So I'm just going to tilt it off to the side here and I'm going to be using a fountain pen to write in here. So mostly I'm going to be using brush pens and fountain pens in the daily section. So um, this is a Lamy Safari and the nib is an extra fine. This is the 2019 special edition blue macaron color and I do have a magenta ink in here and I will link the brand of it down below so if you guys are interested you guys can pick it up as well. First off I'm just going to be writing my important dates. This month is not as busy as it has been in the past so I'm kind of happy about that. It's a little bit slow which is great for me. So I'm just going to get started with writing down all the events that I have going on. Okay, so those are my main events that are coming up. So I just wrote that it's the new year. I have a couple of events happening on the 1st. I have some sales going on for my books this month. Um, it's also my dad's birthday and then I just have more events listed there. So this just gives me a brief glimpse of what's going to be happening in the month. I try to make it um, in chronological order, but sometimes um, if things get scheduled last minute or if I forget about something, um, I will just continue adding it. It doesn't really matter to me. In the goals section, um, this is very important for me because I like to set monthly goals for myself. I always make sure that I make these goals at the end of the month, no matter what happens. And I think that's what helps me stay on track of my larger goals for the year. So as long as I am meeting my smaller goals each month, it's inevitable that I'm going to meet my larger goals for the year. So I am going to be writing down my goals for the month. 
So the first one being, um, I want to outline a new book. So I have a new series that I'm writing. So I am going to be starting that in the new year. So I want to make sure that I have outlined that book. And then also in this month, I want to write the first draft of that book. So I'm going to write first draft. And then I do have some sales going on for a few of my books. So I'm just going to write those down as well. And then I do plan on having some shop releases. So I want to release some more personal wide inserts in my shop, which is Anna Jolene Printables on Etsy. So in addition to Hobonichi full page stickers, I also sell ring bound inserts. So I want to release some more personal wide ones for this month. So that is what my goals are. I want to make sure that I tick off every single one of these for this month. So that is my important dates and goals set. Um, I may add to it, so that's why I'm leaving it blank. Now let's move on to the daily. So this starts on a Friday, so it's actually just the weekend. Um, and that's what I'm going to be covering for this particular video. Um, in another video, I'll probably do the, the full week. So what I have here at the very top, you do have these five checklists. I'm just putting um, my social media for the day. So I do work as an author assistant for other best-selling romance authors. So I'm putting just their schedule and what I have to do for them at the very top here so that it's separated from my personal to-do list. Um, since I am also an author, I don't want my things kind of mingling with theirs. I don't want to cause any confusion by having their to-dos mixed in with mine. So I just have this one section just for them at the top. So for this part of the spread, I'm going to be switching over to the Kaveco Sport. So I just have a blue ink in here and I like it because it's super fine so I can write on the smaller grid that's in the Hobonichi. But first I am going to add the other event that I have going on in this day. So I'm just gonna grab my Tombow and do the exact same thing. I'm just going to make a little bit of a swatch here. Just like that, allow that to dry. And I'm going to be writing in my second event for the day with this lettering pen and it's a zig pen. So I'm just gonna be quickly writing that in here. Just really simply, it's not really hand lettering, I'm just writing with my own regular handwriting. Um, now I'm going to kind of separate this section of the page because it is just a plain grid. I'm going to be sectioning it off into different to-do lists. So every day my to-do list um, or my different categories and sections may be different. So maybe it's a to clean, it could be waiting on, it could be a to-do list, it could be um, something to print, that kind of thing. So um, that's why I like the Hobonichi is because you can really customize um, and kind of do like your bullet journaling in here. You can really customize with a lot of different headers and stuff, especially if you're just going to be using pen. So um, I'm going to be just making a little swatch here, just like that. And I'm going to be writing my to-dos for the week. So again, just waiting for that to dry. And then I'm going in with my pen once again, just to write to do. Just like that. And then now I'm going to be writing my weekly to do's for the week using my Kobeco fountain pen. So the first thing that I want to make sure that I do on Friday is my weekly review. So I do that every single Friday it's just basically processing my weekly spreads and also my daily pages just to make sure that I don't forget anything so I can kind of plan accordingly for the next week as well. Um, I want to also outline that book. So I'm gonna be starting that outline on this day. Um, I have some worksheets that I want to do. So I'm just going to write worksheets 
when I am outlining a book, I do these kind of worksheets that kind of help me make sure that I have every major part of a story. Um, things like the climax, the meet cute, all that kind of stuff. So I do that at the beginning, kind of like to brainstorm and help me outline the book. So I want to make sure that I'm doing that. I also have um, some of my shows coming up on this day. So I am just going to be writing just one because I know just seeing that will remind me that, oh, my shows are all coming out this day. So um, I will write the rest of the shows after. So those are my main to-dos for this particular day. Most of my time is going to be spent on outlining that particular book. I definitely want to finish it by next week, so most of the day is going to be spent on that. And then I want to break up this day, so I'm going to create another list here just by making another swatch there. And this part is going to be my waiting on. So I do have some online purchases that I made that haven't come in yet. So I'm just going to make a list of those orders that I have made that I'm still waiting on. So Van Sticky, Josephine Bow, Confetti Baby, Sweet Paper Bliss, And then I also ordered some new pens, another Kaveco pen like this one. And then also Muji. So those are the orders that I'm waiting on. So the reason why I keep this kind of running list is because like for example if I see this list I can see that this Josephine Bow Designs order I actually made this in October so if this is something that's on my waiting list for weeks after weeks um, I know that it's something that I need to look into so since this order has not come in for the past two months um, I'm going to have to write over here to kind of check in with the shop owner and say like where's my order I think it's lost now because you know, more than two months has passed. We're already in January of the next year and I still haven't received my order. So that's the reason why I keep track of that here on my daily pages. So um, that is what I have going on for the Friday, January 1st. Now let's move on to January 2nd. So over here, I actually have one of my yearly schedules. So that's why that is there and then I also have it tabbed at the top here because this is going to be something that I reference for the whole entire year. So I want to make sure that that schedule is in my planner for sure. And then having the tab just allows me to make sure that um, I'm constantly looking at this page. So now that we are on January the 2nd, I am just going to um, write out the things that I want to do this day. So once again, I do have my schedule my social media schedule there at the very top and then um, usually on Saturday mornings I devote that time to myself and journaling catching up on my journal so I am just going to write journal so I'm just going to write journaling there at the top so that I know that I have given myself that time to do all that um, and then I am going to break up this once again with another kind of list. But this time I am not going to make it a to-do list. I'm going to make it a to-print list. So um, in order for me to do my journaling, there are some pictures that I want to print out so that I can put those pictures in my journal. So I am just going to write to print. And then, so I know that Saturday morning, I am going to be printing out these pictures so that I can include them in my journal. So um, the first thing that I want to print out are the pictures from GOT7's fan meeting. So they recently did that. So I want to um, journal about that. I have some shows that I watched that I want to journal about as well because I really enjoyed them. So I am going to write 
those down. Um, there is also a 2021 challenge by Rainbow Holic. It's part of the Kawaii challenge. So I want to print out the journaling prompts for that so that I can do my journaling that day. Um, and then also Christmas just passed, so I want to print out some Christmas pictures so I can journal about that. So those are the things that I want to print out for my journaling that day. And then I have my schedule. And that's all I have planned so far for January the 2nd. Obviously, I'll do more than just this, but um, I'm going to be saving the rest of this page for the actual day, and this will fill up as the day comes out. This is more like just pre-planning for me. Okay, so now let's move on to January the 3rd. Once again, I do have just a giveaway reminder that I need to post up on social media for another author. And then um, on here, I'm going to be focusing on cleaning. So I've kind of been procrastinating on my cleaning. So I am just going to make another swatch there and then write to clean with my lettering pen. And uh, I actually have the details of this in my weekly so I do have a note here to do my floors, desk, and bathroom but I am going to take that one step further and write out some additional things that I want to get done that day so I'm going to definitely devote this day for a big deep clean day so I'm going to transfer some of those to do so bathroom, floors, and desk but I also want to make sure that I organize my closet because I have been procrastinating on that a lot. I'm sure that if I walk in there right now, things could probably fall down on me. So it's getting to the point where I really need to do that. And then I also want to wipe down all the shelves, my bookshelves. I have several bookshelves and I definitely need to um, wipe them down, make sure that they're dust free. So that is my major cleaning for the day and that will likely take me the whole entire day to do, especially the closet. I do want to literally take everything out and then um, fold it or hang it or iron it so that everything is perfectly clean. Um, since this is a Sunday, I like to do my weekly kind of review and kind of focus for the next week. So I am going to make another section here focusing on next week. Just put another swatch and then I'm going to write next week here. And then I'm just going to put a list of the things that are happening next week that I kind of want to look forward to or remember. So I do have couple books on sale next week so Nirvana and more than this will be on sale so I definitely want to remember that because that's a huge thing I want to do a blog post with a giveaway so if you are watching this in real time and you are interested in winning a Amazon gift card you guys can check out my blog I also want to send out a newsletter Actually, it's going to be two newsletters, so I'm just going to write another newsletter here. Um, it's also my dad's birthday next week, which is super exciting. Um, and then I want to make sure that I visit my Facebook groups. And then also my last thing is to finish that outline for that book. So next week I need to finish the thing that I started on this Friday. So those are the main things that I have planned so far on that day. I also did get my schedule for the first half of 
the year. So I'm actually going to be writing that down here. So as you can see, this page will fill up pretty quickly and this is just my pre-planning. So when the day actually comes, this is going to fill up even more, this section especially. So I have all those events now listed here. I am just going to wait for the swatch to dry before I write in the title again. So that is basically what I do in my daily pages here for pre-planning. So once the day comes, then this will fill out automatically and the rest of the spread will kind of um, begin to take better shape. But that is typically what I would like to do in terms of my pre-planning. I will already write some things in advance. So things like my dad's birthday and that kind of stuff. I definitely don't wait until the day comes to write on these daily pages. Um, that's just not functional for me. So I will write things right away in my planner so that I don't forget about it. I'm not really too worried about things being too neat. I understand that sometimes planning is a messy process and this is where a lot of my messy um, jotting things down um, will happen for me. So since this is going to be a pre-planner, I'm going to be scheduling things a lot. Sometimes things will get canceled or rescheduled. So I'm not too concerned about, you know, crossing things out. So that is how I pre-plan in my daily pages in my Hobonichi Cousin. I hope you guys found that helpful and maybe you guys can take away some tips from this video. But that is my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Also, if you are interested in my full page stickers for the Hobonichi that are like this, then you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. Um, I do have these for the B6stalogy, the Hobonichi Weeks, as well as A6 Techo. So there's plenty of different formats to choose from. But that's it for me guys. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!